about seven innings, and you guys were playing sparkling defense. You guys had the lead. Um, you know, what's your perspective on kind of how things turned in the eighth there? Need to coach better. Yeah, yeah. Disappointing one. Oh, to say the least. I mean, you know, um, need to need to coach better. What specifically do you feel like you need to do better in the future? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, we lost the game, and that's on the coach. Mm-hmm. Coach, just run me through your decision to bring Colby Summers in in the eighth rather than maybe leaving Schifatelli out for another inning. Colby was fresh. He was ready to go, um, and he wanted the baseball. And every time he we got a lead in the eighth inning, um, when he's got six outs in him, for sure, and he did. He said he had uh, three innings, actually, in him. And so, um, you know, that was clearly the right decision to give Colby the, the baseball with uh, with the lead, you know, going in the eighth inning. Can you talk about the decision to take a Stoffel out after three innings, had given up an earned run? Obviously, the defense had helped him out a bunch at that point. Uh, yeah, Jace yeah. wasn't sharp uh, mm-hmm. today. Yeah. Okay, how's Hall doing? And I mean, it's a hell of an effort on that, that fly ball, and just you know, any perspective on that play there? No, nothing additional to add. Hopefully, he's okay. What did you see from, from Logan Mikado again? He comes out of the pen and does, does another good job of kind of shutting down some innings mm-hmm. here. Yeah, I thought he did a nice job. You know, he, he came out there and he threw the ball over the plate and he was competitive. Our team was very competitive today, um, you know, all the way down to the very last out. And, um, but yet it's still disappointing. And, um, you know, when you lose a baseball game, you reflect in the mirror. And as a coach, you know that you own that. And, and uh, you know, players play and coaches coach. When you lose, it's the coach's, coach's fault. We need to get better. Potentially a lot on the line for you guys over these next eight days. What's the mentality you guys need to take over these next, say, 48 hours to, to get ready for Tuesday's game and kind of get this week off, started off the right way? Yeah, I mean, you know, this team's been playing great baseball all year. I mean, the mentality, it doesn't need to change. The mentality needs to be as competitive as what we saw all the way to the end. Um, we get a chance to play four games against the guys uh, in our state, which is great. We, we, we can't wait to do that. And so it's going to be... Um, one of the, maybe up to this point, the most fun week we could possibly have. Um, that's, that's how we view it. And then afterwards, obviously, there's more weeks in front of us that we need to play well. But we get a chance to play uh, this week, and that's, that's awesome. We can't wait. With a game like today's, sometimes this kind of happens in football, and it's a throwaway game, and you don't reveal the film. Is that something that you guys might do, or is this one you want to look back on and remember? A throwaway game? We don't no, have throwaway, throwaway games, games at the University of Oregon. Team. A throw away the tape game? No, there were great things that happened in that game today. Um, no, we don't throw away tape, and we don't play that way around here. We don't uh, bash our players or, or uh, you know, tell them that's a throwaway game. I mean, there was a lot of great stuff that happened today. There was a lot of good things that we could learn from that we didn't do great today. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, it was a loss. There's no throwaway games, though. That's not the way we roll. We're trying to win a league championships, and it's disappointing when we uh, lose. Um, and we lost today, and so we're disappointed. But we're going to be ready to play on Tuesday. There's no doubt about it. And we're looking forward to getting back on the ball field tomorrow. We can't wait to get another work day. And these guys are awesome to be with every single day, and so it doesn't ever change. I'll try one more time. What, what, then, if, what do you want to learn from this one? What do you, what do you want the guys' big learning key, key point to be from this one? It's better to win than lose. Yeah. Kind of let the sting sit with you a little bit then. No, winners get rewarded differently, you know, than, than losers. And it's that black and white in the world. And when somebody wants to pat you on the back and tell you it's okay, um, well, that's the first thing that you're going to hear from a loser. It's not okay. And it's better to win than lose. And you'll get better jobs and you'll get better things that happen to you when you win over when you lose. And so we try to teach our players to win uh, at all costs. And our guys, uh, they love that. They value that. They embrace that. And I love suiting up for these guys or with these guys because because they have a high appreciation if, uh, for that as well, and that's going to be the message we continue to, to try to teach around here because winning uh, is better than losing, no doubt.